Are you looking for email marketing strategies that are proven to turn even small lists into big profits? On this video, I'm going to share some of my most powerful email marketing strategies and techniques from over 21 years in online business. Over the past two decades, I've helped thousands of clients earn more, work less, and enjoy life using the internet. And email is our secret weapon. Those clients come from all different niches, including tennis, golf, learning foreign languages, chiropractic, continuing education, restaurants, accountants, real estate, and so many more. If these methods have worked for me and my clients from all different backgrounds, they'll work for you too. There are two huge mistakes people commonly make with email marketing. Mistake number one is simply sending out sales pitches. You've probably been on a few lists like that. Every email is a pitch for another product. There's a never before seen special that you have to take advantage of right now at least until tomorrow when they send you another one. This strategy of churn and burn can actually work for a little while. It's based on constantly bringing in enough new subscribers to replace all those who get burned out on all your pitches. But it doesn't build long-term customer loyalty. Churning and burning a list is not what I'd recommend. The other common mistake is just sending out content and more content. Remember this, constipated content doesn't sell. Constipated content is content that simply adds to the information overload we all already feel. There's no personality, there's no human connection, and there's no real story involved. Content's good, but it's not enough to cut through all the clutter that we have online today. You need more. Don't send information to your list. They already have enough of that. Send infotainment instead. Infotainment is information shared in an entertaining way. It's delivered with your unique personality. It's delivered along with your opinions and your observations. It's delivered along with your personal stories. My simple model for email is based on the three E's. Entertain, educate, and earn. Start each email off with a hook to grab their interest. It could be a quote from a famous author. It could be a personal story. It could be a personal opinion about a, a hot topic. It could be as simple as saying something like, I was talking to one of my clients yesterday and they asked this question. I've sent hundreds of emails that started with, I received an email from a subscriber last week and here's what they asked. That's a little mini story. I've also talked about my wife, my golden retriever, my German shepherd, my hobbies, the waiter at the last resident I visited, the rainy human weather with the constant thunderstorms here in Florida and all kinds of other things. Invite people inside of your life. You can tell little day-to-day -day stories like when I shared an email that I simply, or the subject line was marketing lessons I learned from my dog. Or you can use deeper, more meaningful stories. One story I push all of my clients to create early in their email sequence is their origin story. How did you get started in the business that you're currently in? What motivated you to create another business in an already overly competitive marketplace? The last job I personally had and ever will have was, have was delivering pizzas for Little Caesars for eight bucks an hour. I'm not gonna go into my whole origin story here, but that little element connect, connects me with people. I've had customers email and mention how they used to deliver pizzas for a living also or some other job that they hated. Sometimes I mention that I came from Richmond, Indiana originally, and people connect with that because they live near there, they have family near there, or they've even driven through there. I was broken in debt when I started online. And that resonates with a lot of people who've been in a similar situation or may currently be in a similar situation. Everything you share from your personal life and your story can point a portion of your audience to a way that they can connect with you, they can relate to you. Your origin story goes further than this also. It also reveals the motivation behind doing what you do. While I enjoy the money that I make with online marketing, it doesn't really motivate me all that much anymore. It definitely motivated me when I was broke and just getting started. My wife and I enjoy living indoors, and we especially enjoy eating multiple times per day. But today, I'm motivated more by the freedom and the joy of working with clients in all different markets. I get to see what works and what doesn't in a lot of other businesses other than just my own. The strategy behind these businesses is a lot of fun to me, but that's enough for you to get the point. Let people know where you come from, the problems you faced, and why you do what you do. An origin story is just one kind of story that you can share. In addition, you can share your own or your client's case studies. What did you do to generate results? 
My client in the tennis market, for example, often uses a speed sensor to record the improvements that many of his students make. Then he can talk about their case study. They increased the speed of their strokes by 12 miles per hour or 15 miles per hour, and here's how they did it. As you can imagine, that's a story that grabs attention if you too would like to improve your game and get more power on your strokes. What kinds of results have you generated for your clients? In addition, you can, set, you can share simple rapport building stories. That's why I talk about my dogs. I don't have children, but I've had dogs all my life and many people resonate with dogs. In fact, even though my list is about internet marketing and email marketing, I've had subscribers email me and ask me to share more stories about Thor, my German Shepherd. I, I've talked about when we first got him, how we chose him, how he entertains me, and I've talked about some of the training that I've done with him. People connect and relate to me better because they see the connection with my dog. They hear that story and they relate to it. Okay, but entertain is just the first of the three steps. Step two is to educate. Your emails should include actionable content and value. Tell a story, then relate that story to a message. Back when I was a kid, I watched a lot of cartoons and they always ended with the moral of today's story is X. Your story is a parable. There's a lesson that connects what you want to share. Don't get bogged down in the content section. Make it quick and easy to understand. Give a few steps they can follow. For an example, in a case study, you might share the most important change they made to get these new results. The final step is earn. Transition from the value into an offer that you have. You don't need to hard sell anyone. Instead, simply give them the opportunity to buy. So I might tell a story about my client and the results they got from an email promotion. I'll share a couple of tips from that story which that readers can also use. Then I'll connect those tips to my full email marketing course and tell the subscribers to click to find out full details about the course over at this webpage. The majority of your emails should ask your subscribers to do something. Ask them to click a link, watch a video, share on Facebook. Simple, easy. Entertain, educate, earn. If you have any questions about the system, feel free to ask them in the comment box below. And if you'd like to see the system in action, go over to MyMarketingCoach.com where I have a free gift for you. Seven unique ways to create profitable emails even if you're not a writer. Plus, you'll get several of my best cheat sheets including 64 story, start, story shortcuts to, to jog your memory for the kinds of stories you can share. You'll get subject line templates, intro sentences, and more. You get it all free over at MyMarketingCoach.com just for checking out my email list.